course, we want oh, we want all clarity today, so people <laughs> know that you're even in possession of the letter. Yeah. Please so, go ahead. So, so make a reader. This was yes. uh, this was from the Accountant General's Department, uh, written on the twenty seventh of July, twenty twenty two. You don't, you don't understand. The reference of the letter is A-G-D-Y-B-B-O-S-L, which is Bank of Sierra Leone, 27607. Dear sir, payment in respect of the presidential working visit to London, United Kingdom, from the 28th July to the 15th of August, 2022. We write on the instruction of the Financial Secretary to authorize the Bank of Sierra Leone to transfer the sum of £94,050 from the other charges account number 011 zero zero one two seven nine to the under mentioned account stated below that you get it is a the Sierra Leone high commission is the payee payment the details payment for the presidential visit to london united kingdom from the 28th july to 15th of august ninety four thousand and fifty pounds sterling and this was paid to the Sierra Leone high commission london bank barclays bank account number seven three three two eight one four seven and the sort code is 201688. You get the swift uh, transfer details here. This payment is in respect of the presidential visit of His Excellency, the President, and entourage to London, United Kingdom from the 28th July to 15th August 2022. We are constrained, imagine, we are constrained to use this method of payment only because of the extreme urgency of the transaction. Please send us your advice confirming that these payments have been effected. And this is signed by the Accountant General, Richard S. Williams, and countersigned by his Deputy Accountant General, Lawrence S. Poker. Why I read this letter, and I will tell you, say, now they are not, because of the exposure they exposed them, they are not even using the, the traditional form yeah, of yeah. bank. They don't develop a clandestine method. And this money that I just read about, the money wired to the to the High Commission in London for making them take care of the president with the card. This not include what the president and his wife has taken out of the local and overseas travel account. Goodness. Man. And this is just on the 28th of July. And remember, since that 28th, the president left day England. And right now, on a vacation. You know, say every July, August. And yes. We went to go vacation every year. So. Yes. And and this is also not. In addition to in June, while in the while in the gather drama, police drama, that they want they say they don't arrest yeah, 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 yeah. Distraction. Yeah, let me read another letter again. Please but do. anyway, why why I, I, I do this that for make people let know say it's not it's not a question of lack of information. Let I mean, the point know. is the point is you, know, you could have published these letters which yeah. for the amount yeah, to yeah, the same yeah. thing. But there, are more, there are more important things what I want to focus on now, which yeah, is yeah, I, I can the see fact that the marriage between the parliament, the parliamentarians who you think are, are opposition, who have now willingly are collaborating with the state for rescue Madabio from being defeated because he needs to remain in office to be able to protect himself from being held accountable for the ongoing loot of the public treasury, which the parliament should have ordered an investigation and they've refused to do that. It's a collaboration. So let, we talk, let we talk about this parliament or you want to read that letter there first because, I mean, I'll be one, let me... I, I can go to that again. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, go to I mean... Yeah. I want everybody where they listen today or we get for listening subsequently and no, the point is, we get we know, Alpha we, Emba on the not, program. We are not here to prove to people that we have evidence or not. That the politicians they wish they've been wishing for that. They've been wishing uh oh, no, no, be, be, now, so. be appreciate say you they pull all of these things them now. Yeah. I be, appreciate that be because this is what we've come to use to. And I'm a huge fan of yours, I don't hide it. <laughs> and I get a conversation here, I get a conversation there with people that we argue uh, a lot and what have you. I see okay. exactly where you are going. Hold but on, then there's this also... counter argument about, oh, no, 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 the sauce don't dry up. But yeah, here yeah, you they are don't, revealing. They don't, they, don't, they don't accuse Lara Tilopia, say, Nana, Nana with sauce. So then, uh, yes, like, oh. all kinds. Here, yeah. here is what I'm reading again. One year you go, Lara don't go, but yeah. here you are still from revealing. The same, from the same accountant general's department, mm -hmm. uh, this letter is written on the 15th of June, 2022. And I will read the reference number for this one. Uh, it's, it's AGD RSW Bank of Sierra Leone, BOSL 22599, written to the governor. And it says, There are payments to replenish the floating allocation for local and overseas travel account for His Excellency the President. We write on the instruction of the Financial Secretary to authorize the Bank of Sierra Leone to transfer the sum of 10 billion loans from the other charges account number 01. 
1001279 to the under mentioned account as stated below. So basically, these were paid in four different uh, ordered by the secretary to the president, paid in four different forms of payment: 2.5 billion in total, 10 billion, and paid to the, the look overseas bank account, uh, which is uh, bank account number 01120073302. Then still, this payment is in respect of the replenishment of the floating allocation for local and overseas travel for His Excellency the President. We are constrained to use this method of payment only because of the extreme urgency of the transaction. Please send us your advice. So you see that the same thing. So now they, and, and this one is written by the same Accountant General, Richard S. Williams, countersigned by his deputy, Lawrence S. Coker, and copy to the Minister of Finance, copy to the deputy, two deputy ministers of finance, one and two, the financial secretary, the secretary to the president, officer of the president, and the director of budget. And this, like I said, is, is 15 June. And remember, 15 June, I tell them they talk about that police to look. Say police, why do they get the people that were talking about police? Uh, police don't arrest. LEG and this and that punish drug the masses. They take this and the thing with the that they've been going to the AU summit, the Waka, the Go, Geneva. And five days after this, we don't take this money, nine and care go, the bill in the parliament on the 20th of June. That is when the public elections bill was started in Parliament. But let me read another one again. Please do. You, we get all the time for this today. Trust me. <laughs> no, you know, um, it calls for patience. My kind of, the line of work that we do, we, it requires patience. They call them patience. Patience is the, is a virtue. That's, yeah, that's the it's thing. a good virtue. Yeah, it's a good virtue. Okay, this one, a, a very interesting, this one. This one is on the 20th of June. And from the same uh, Accountant General's office with reference number AGDRSWBOSL, which is the Bank of Sierra Leone, 22515. Why are the reader? Because they know, say, yes, they, those who are writing these letters know exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, and this is also written for the attention of the Director of Banking. And it says, Dear Governor, payment to the National Electoral Commission for quarter two, 2022, we write on the approval of the Honorable Minister of Finance and hereby authorize the Bank of Sierra Leone to pay the sum of 2.8 billion from the election basket account number 01120095640 held at the Bank of Sierra Leone to meet payment as stated below. One, National Electoral Commission. Details of the payment is payment to the National Electoral Commission in respect of administrative, recurrent, and program cost allocation for quarter two, 2022, 2.8 billion. And the account number is here also um, paid. They get the uh, transfer code. But basically this payment is in respect of administrative recurrent and program cost allowance to the electoral. We are constrained to use this method of payment because of the urgency of the transaction. And this now, the 20th of June, now they say they don't pay uh, to uh, electoral commission, the second payment, but this is, Basically, this money was paid, was given from the Bank of Sierra Leone the very day where, 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 where the Electoral Commission can go the, the bill in the parliament, pre-legislative thing. And you have to look at the, the bank statement of the Electoral Commission. You see, all this money don't come up. 